number one zam dunk girl Hey guys, my Cindy, welcome back to Chit Chat with Chip, where I talk all things to do with fashion sewing, to do with career, to do with lifestyle, and I don't even remember anymore. What do I do? What do I talk about? I talk about all different things. So if you want to join the journey, join whatever I talk about, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And I know it's been a minute, but life, life, the way life is set up right now. But I do have something that I want to share with you guys. This is going to be one of my quick five minute videos. I've said this before. Has it been five minutes? yeah i'm gonna do this while i'm doing an alteration for one of my customers but i just thought i need to fit this in otherwise i'm just not finding time to do anything right now in this video i am going to be talking about the pros and cons of locum and i might do like a little sort of series of different videos doing pros doing cons of locuming just make them quick to give you some ideas to give my opinion of it as well yeah you can make do with that what you want to do with it but i just want to make them quick and short as i go through locuming so i will be approaching well i say i'm approaching a year i still got a few months before i've been locuming for a year there's little things here and there that happen in my days that you know what it's let's talk about it so the first one of my pros and cons is going to be a con. The first thing that I want to talk about is negotiating rates. The reason I want to talk about this is because that's something that you have to do before you start your job but it's also something that people as they're going through their assignment over time they might consider to negotiate and that is something that I recently had to do. If we all know if you've ever tried negotiating it can be a very uncomfortable subject and it's not something that I enjoy either but I feel like it's something that people don't really talk about a lot and actually if anyone's got any hints and tips on on how to negotiate rates, how to be confident going in, how to find out what rate you want, etc, etc, and to stick by your numbers, you know, how to go down, how to go low, how to go higher, please jot it down because we all want to know. But I'm just going to talk a little bit about my experience real quick, what I think you could do if you want to go down that route. The first thing that I want to say when you're negotiating a locum rate is make sure that you negotiate your rate before you start your assignment like obviously there's a range of what you can sort of negotiate with your agency but make sure that the rate that you end up with is the rate that you'll be happy to stay on for however long because in my experience trying to negotiate a rate when you are in the job is a little bit more difficult and can feel a bit more uncomfortable than if you've already negotiated it with your agency prior so it's easier so you know what you're going into and you don't feel some type of way when you find out that oh I could have got a bit more or oh, I'm not getting paid right I would say negotiate your rate and make sure you negotiate properly with your agency at the start of your assignment before you start your assignment and then at least you be going into your job happy you don't feel too bad when you find out that you could have done better or whatever because trying to negotiate when you're already in the role can be an uncomfortable conversation to have with the manager because I think at that point a lot of the time the agency have kind of done whatever they needed to do so they'll probably leave it to you to negotiate a higher rate but they can negotiate a higher rate for you but then it's all very complicated it comes across like oh she's asking for more money -di -da -di -da. but I feel like the one thing that you should do when you are negotiating a rate just be confident the worst thing that somebody can say to you is no are you gonna die hopefully not I don't think you're gonna die but if you feel really strongly about trying to negotiate a better rate then I say do it confidently and at least try we always regret the things that we don't do rather than the things that we do because if they say no to you cool calm you can carry on going obviously it depends how you approach the situation do it professionally do it properly don't be bitter about it but then at the end of the day you could actually end up with what you want so for me it's like if you're gonna negotiate a rate going confidently if it doesn't go your way know how you're going to handle that and if it does go your way then cool everything's worked out properly but if it doesn't go your way then obviously take that with wait what's the saying take that on your chin take it on your i don't even know what the saying is but just just accept it but obviously if you can fight and it's still professional it's still not going to make your work uncomfortable afterwards if you are staying on onto a position with the people that you've been dealing with like you don't want it to be bitter you don't want to be angry about it because you still have to work with these people you don't want to be thinking oh why didn't they raise my rate or why didn't they do this definitely go in with confidence make sure you're going in knowing exactly what the going rates are for the jobs that you're doing for the sort of level that you're at and what everybody else is getting paid so do do your research and know how to approach the situation. I would love people who have done locuming, who've done agency work, if you've done negotiating before negotiating rates, please give us all some hints in the comments box below because we all want to know. This is just sort of my experience with it. I feel like definitely going into my next placement, I will make sure that I'll be negotiating my rates at the start because I know that agencies can be very difficult because they're getting a portion of your assignment rate at the end of the day. So obviously they want to get that good, good commission. So they would most likely, like some of them are very, very very nice but some of them will try and lower your hourly rate so that they can take home or their commission can be that little bit higher so 
that can be difficult but know who you're dealing with but obviously stand your ground as well because people like to take the piss you're doing the work obviously they're finding you the jobs they're helping you and that's all well and good but you are the one that's going in there putting in the hours and they just get a little bit of that and obviously you've got to be grateful for them but you're doing the work so that's just my opinion on it i would love people to comment down below if you've ever gone through negotiating it doesn't have to be in locum it can be in any position just generally other professions that also want to negotiate rates might have to negotiate rates i would love to know your experiences how you go about it and how you deal with it afterwards if it's not the answer that you're expecting or how would you deal with it please let us all know and guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure that you do and i hope to see you guys on my next video so thank you so much for watching and catch you later